Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Glacier Black CPU Killer from Gelid Solutions. This CPU Killer has a TDP of 220 watts, costs around about 55 US dollars, and has a six heat pipe design with two RGB fans on the cooler. Also, because I'm going to be showing you how to install the cooler on a Z690 motherboard, we're going to have to pick up a Gelid's LGA1700 mounting bracket. This doesn't come with the cooler, and it is an optional extra. So the first thing we're going to want to do is assemble the backplate for our CPU cooler. So we've got the bracket with the Intel side facing up, and then we've got four of these screws we just need to pass through the bracket, and if we turn them around just till they pop into place. There we go, so that's that one into place. And that's the fourth one, so then if we turn the bracket over, and then we've got one of these washers to go on each corner. Next we need to insert the backplate into the back of the motherboard. We've then got a spacer to go into each corner. Then one of these brackets to go at the top and at the bottom. And then we've got a thumb screw to go on each corner. Next we can add some thermal paste to the centre of the CPU. This is included with the cooler. Before we install the cooler we need to remove the plastic protection. Then we can lower the CPU cooler down, line it up with the bracket. Then we're going to want to secure the cooler into place using a screwdriver. Next we're going to want to line the fan up with the heatsink. Then we're going to want to take one of the little metal clips and pass them through the holes on the fan. Once we've got it through the holes in the fan we just need to apply a little bit of pressure to the clips and that's then going to clip on to the heatsink. And then the same thing on the other side. We can set our middle fan into place making sure the orientation of the fan is the same as the one at the front. And then the same thing with the metal clips, line them up in the holes in the fan and then just a little bit of pressure to get the fan to clip into place. And then the same thing with our second clip. So we'll get it into place and apply some pressure to the clips and get them to clip on to the heatsink. Okay, next thing to do is have a look at the wires. So coming from each of our fans, we've got two cables. One has a standard four pin PWM connector and the other has a standard three pin five volt ARGB connector. And one of the nice things about the RGB connector is we do have a little splitter cable on it. So we are going to be able to daisy chain both the cables together. So what I'm going to do is take the cable coming from our second fan, line them up and push them into place. So that's going to mean we just need to plug the single 3 pin 5 volt RGB connector into an RGB header on our motherboard. And that's going to control the lighting on both the fans. We've got a double splitter cable to plug our PWM connectors into, so if we plug each of them into the cable. So that's just going to leave us a single 4-pin PWM cable which we need to plug into our CPU fan header. Okay, so we'll plug our PWM cable into the CPU fan header, and our ARGB header into one of the ARGB headers at the top of the motherboard. So that's our cutter up and running. I think the double ARGB lining rings on each of the fans looks really, really good when paired with the black cooler. So the RGB lighting effects on the cutter themselves at the moment are currently set to rainbow. So in terms of temperatures, the cooler also performed really well. We've got an i7-12700K and it idled at 25 degrees and reached a maximum of 76 degrees during a 10 minute idle 64 stability test. Noise levels measured 30 centimeters away from the cooler were also fairly good. 32 decibels at idle and 42 decibels under load. So hopefully you have found this insulation guide and first look at the Gelid Glacier Black CPU Killer useful. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.